Errol Spence, Sean Porter, thank you. Thank you Absolutely. so much. Bravo, brother. My Bravo. goodness gracious. Fight of the year tonight. Fight of the year tonight. This fight was a lot better than we thought it was going to be. We knew it was going to be a good fight, but not this good. I mean, this was this was a Rocky style phone booth, straight up action from the first through the twelfth round. Absolutely. One of the best fight, welterweight fights I've ever seen. Absolutely. Errol Spence tonight takes. Well, it doesn't take. I'm sorry. Okay. He had to fight for this belt. He did have to fight. He yeah. had to fight really hard. But Errol Spence is now the unified welterweight champion. Has the IBF and WBC belt, the belt he wanted all along, and now he's the man on top of the hill. Everyone's uh, gonna be clamoring for that position to fight Errol. But let's talk about the fight. What an amazing matchup. Phone booth, uh, boxing tactics, great defense, and straight energy from round one to 12. Absolutely, the sweet science was on full display tonight. You saw every skill in the book in the game of boxing. And you know, you gotta give it to these guys too though because of the attrition that they show. These guys were tired, but they still continue to fight like the champions that they are. You know, Sean Porter is a friend of mine. His dad is, is a friend yeah. of mine. But I did pick Errol Spence to win this fight because I, I do have to call it like I see it. Of course. But I had no idea that Sean was going to do this well. With, without the knockdown, this fight easily probably could have been a draw. Absolutely. And we knew, coming in, I had a Spence in 12 as well. But we knew this was going to be Errol's toughest yeah. fight. I mean, so, so we, he was marked. He got cut on the right hand side, maybe from a headbutt, maybe from a punch. Yeah. I, I don't know exactly what it was, but we saw Errol fight hard. But we also saw Arrow being an amazing boxer, using his weight to push Sean back to the ropes, mm -hmm. digging into the body, jabbing I mean, with perfection. I mean, the guy was still on his A game with a tornado coming still, to him. St still on his A game, as you said, with a tornado coming to him because Sean Porter was using angles on him. He was putting pressure on him. He would box him a little bit. But what I was most impressed by was the knockdown. And, and, and what Errol Spence did was he used his, his, his right hand, which was the hand he jabbed, with holds Sean Porter's head in place, then comes across with the left hook. Yeah. Now, if you go back to the Chris Algieri fight, he used the same technique to knock down Chris Algieri. This shows you how skillful and how knowledgeable and how he's able and how Errol Spence is to make adjustments along the way. He, I, I don't see anybody in the welterweight division beating him too. Much. Yeah, and we talk about Terrence Crawford, who was at the top yeah, of the no. top pound, pound list for for many writers. I mean, and I know I said he's overrated, and I still think that you don't probably don't think that, but he's there's no way he's he's, he's matching up with Arrow. I'm sorry. Yeah, there's yeah, no I, I don't I don't think that he's overrated, but I don't think he's in the same class, class as Arrow Spence. You look at his opponents; not one of his opponents match up to a Sean Porter, yeah. a Kell Brook, a Mikey Garcia, uh, a Lamont Peterson. All fighters that. Errol Spence disposed of. Now you try to put uh, him in the, Terrence Crawford in the ring with uh, Errol Spence. I think he gets stopped within six rounds. Yeah, man. Who knows? Maybe yeah. even earlier. But maybe you know, even earlier. We'll yeah. see. I just know that he's not in the same class. Right, and he's really not a true welterweight either. Yeah, yeah exactly, exactly. Yeah. Errol Spence, we mentioned earlier, he's at the top of the hill now. He is. The ties have turned, like he said. Mm -hmm. And who was in the ring after the fight? Mr. Danny DSG Garcia, don't stop grinding. Yeah, yeah uh, my boy has no chance. Equal. My boy has no chance, man. I hate to say it, but it'll be a good fight, though. It'll be a good fight because Danny Garcia ain't no punk. Danny Garcia yeah. went life and death with both yeah. uh, Sean Porter and uh, Keith Thurman. He he's a he's a great fighter within his own right. Beat our boy up, Adrian Granados, in his last fight, knocked him out. Yeah. Uh, but the one thing that he will have to deal with is Errol Spence's pressure. Yeah, I, I think Sean Porter pressured him, but not like Errol Spence is going to pressure him. And he's going to have to deal with the body work of Errol Spence. Yeah, and Danny Garcia does present, uh, I mean, a good, uh, he, he is a good opponent for Errol. He is. He, Danny will dig to the body as well. He's he bigger will. than Sean. So, you know, this is a different, different dynamic there, but we know Errol, again, is in another class, and he he's is. proved it tonight, winning the welterweight, with the unified welterweight championship has the WBC and IBF belt. And he came in and saw him conquered, man. Came and did his thing, man. And, and, you know, he says that he wants to step into the shoes of Floyd Mayweather, the void that he has left, the void that Manny Pacquiao has left. Yeah. He is well on his way to doing that, to being a pay-per-view superstar. Gentlemen, we thank you for a great night of boxing. We do. Boxing needed this Salute. tonight. It needs it like this almost every night there's boxing. Yep. Dang, Sean lost though, man. Come on, man. For the parlay. It was close.
This is Kendall Gill and Tilo. It was close, we'll see y'all next time.